Minecraft, but Among Us custom hearts. The ship is broken. Uh, where are we? You must be the reinforcements. Perfect timing. I'm Martin. We need to fix this ship so we can get home. Take this. This ID card will show you the taskbar. Once it's full, the ship should be ready to fly. The map will guide you around the ship and show you which areas need to be fixed. Huh? The lights went out. Fiam, I'm scared! Relax, probably just a faulty wire or something in electrical. Jeremy will get it fixed in no time. I got this, bro! Follow me! What the? He sounds just like Varun. I don't know about this. In my experience, nothing good ever happens when the lights go out. Oh, good, bro! See? Told you there's nothing to worry about. Ha! <laughs> Maybe these guys do know what they're doing. Ah! <laughs> What the hell is going on? You tell us! Bob dies right after your group arrives? Sus! Fam! I knew these guys were up to no good! Except Jeremy, he's cool! Enough of this! Let's just kill them! I'm not gonna let you hurt my friends! Are you ready to get wrecked? Yo, chill, chill! Wait, where's Glenn? I can't believe it! I knew we couldn't trust Glenn, but this is a new low! Randomly killing an innocent crew member in the dark? Glenn! Why did you kill Bob? What are you talking about? You know what you did! Wow, and where's your proof? Proof? You're... right. I don't have any. Hello? Someone there? And I'm the crew? This thing is haunted! Ooh, chips. They be haunted, but they're still delicious. Ah! Who are you? Bob? Speak up! Unless you can't, because you're a ghost. Bruh, you broke the trash dispenser! <laughs> I was hoping for some entertainment. Damn it, Bob! I can't put the trash back in fast enough! At this rate, this whole place is gonna become a giant dump! Ow! You're just gonna stand there and watch? Yeah? Bob, please tell me you have something for me! Bob Hart. Even before Bob became a ghost, he always felt like one. What does this mean? Only one way to find out. Huh? The trash is going right through me! Hold on to something! I got you! Well, hello there! I wonder what this does? <laughs> what do you know? I guess I'm taking out the trash! <laughs> Help me, you fool! It's your turn! Prove that you didn't kill Bob! Rule number one! Don't kill someone that might be useful to you later! Hmm, that does sound like how you would think. Huh? Jeremy? If Jeremy was killed just now, that couldn't have been Glenn. I guess you live another day. You want me to follow you? Who are you talking to? You can't see him? Stay here! If Glenn can't see Jeremy or Bob, does that mean I'm the only one who can see ghosts? But why? What the hell are those things? Your body! Looks like whatever is supposed to be on that pillar has been shattered all over the ground. What? You want me to fix it? How am I supposed to get past those things? Jeremy Hart. When the ship shields came down, Jeremy froze to death. Jeez, that sounds brutal. All right, let's see what this does. Whoa, take that, you flying demon. What? It just switched up and became an ice demon. That ain't even fair. Ah! Phew. That was close. What the? It fused into the wall. Was it trying to merge with me? I'd better get this thing fixed before any of these things get inside the ship. First off, we gotta fix this breach. I know. Yes, it worked. Now, the rubies. Voila! Now, what happens when I put you back here? Bruh, this thing came in real handy. What is it anyways? Ah! The 
Kirby has chosen you to see ghosts. But why? Beware, the monster! No, Jeremy! What happened here? Isn't it obvious? Your guy killed another one of our guys! No, I... If I tell them I just fought off some demons and fixed this magic ruby, they aren't gonna believe me. I fixed the shields! The taskbar did just move. That clears out. Wait, why are his hands red? Eh, I know what it looks like. I was cutting some wire for my task, but I accidentally cut my own hand. You think we're stupid? As if we're gonna believe that! Wait, I was with Glenn when Jeremy died. If Glenn's telling the truth, there should be blood on the wires. Fine, take us to the wires. He'd better be telling the truth, for your sake. See? I wasn't lying! How do we know you didn't cut your own hand to create fake evidence? Even if I did that, I couldn't be fixing wires and killing Jeremy at the same time! I don't believe you for a second! You killed Jeremy! Nacho, I need 60 seconds to explosion! Uh, what? Y'all hearing this? This is bad. Follow me! So, what exactly happens if this reactor explodes? What do you think, genius? Okay, okay. Just asking. Jeez. Uh, how do we fix it? Jeremy was our technical guy, and he's kind of dead. It looks like the reactor is connected to an upper and lower engine via a redstone circuit. 30 seconds remaining until explosion. All right, listen up. We gotta split up. Glenn, Marla, go hit the switch in the upper engine. Anastasia, Chris, get the switch in the lower engine. Now, we gotta fix this circuit somehow. There. This should work. We gotta do this at the same time. Now! Crisis averted. That was too close. Does this ship always have this many problems? No, someone must be sabotaging it. But who? Unless... Oh no. He was chasing me! Chris Hart. Chris doesn't like gossip. He prefers to confront people and get to the bottom of things. I'm guessing this calls for a... It's clear that one of us is the imposter. And the thing is, most of my crew is dead, but yours is still entirely alive. Are you saying it's one of us? I'm just saying it's a little sus that none of you are dead. It's definitely not one of us, so why don't we just eject both of you? Wait, it might be one of us. What are you saying, fam? Earlier when I fixed the shields, there were these demons that tried to possess me. I thought I got rid of them all, but what if I didn't? If one of them had already got inside the ship, that could mean that one of us is possessed, but we would have no idea. So there you go! This girl is a possessed demon! Coming from you, you're a demon even without being possessed! Chill, chill! I have an idea. We need to get the tasks done and fix the ship without losing anyone else. Right now, Glenn and Marla are our top two suspects. So we keep them locked up here in the cafeteria. I'll camp out in the security room. I'll watch them from there. You four try and speed run through the tasks. As long as I keep watch, neither of them can make a move. Plus, if either one of them dies, we know the other one was the imposter. Ha! Dumb imposter just got outplayed. Taskbar is almost full, and there's nothing you can do about it. What? Ah! What? No! Don't tell me that! Not Martin! Martin, how do we get these comms back up? What was that? Was someone in the vent? Damn it, the imposter could be anywhere. I gotta get these comms back up before they kill anyone else. Damn it, the radio system is completely broken. Something is jamming all of the gears. I need to take it out without breaking the whole thing somehow. Martin Hart, a natural leader. Everybody and everything just gravitates towards Martin. I need a way to unjam it. Hmm? There! I can deconstruct this table to get wood, to get wooden sticks. Now, if I can turn these clothes back into string... Hey! 
Hey, we're going fishing, boys. Now, if I just infuse this fishing rod with Martin's heart, let's see what we got in here. What the? A hair tie? What was a hair tie doing inside the comm system? Huh? Someone there? Oh, I see how it is. You're trying to pull up on me, eh? Not today. Crap, it's coming. Just a little further. The killer got Martin, and they almost got me too. How is that possible? Weren't you watching Glenn and Marla? I was, before the comms went down. So, Glenn, Marla, care to explain? We were sitting there peacefully. Then I saw this creep climb inside the vent like a lizard. Inside the vent? I did see someone crawling around in the vents, but... But what, fam? I found this jamming the comms. Fam, the only one who wears a red hair tie is... Don't you dare accuse me. I still have my... Huh? Someone stole my hair tie. That's sus, fam. Enough is enough. We need to vote for who we think it is. I must be just imagining things, but did you just try and vote me out? I thought you were possessed by a demon. All that matters is we're safe now. Attention, oxygen has been sabotaged. Attention, oxygen has been sabotaged. What? Another sabotage? How is this possible? Unless Glenn wasn't the imposter. Hurry, we need to split up and fix the two oxygen chambers. No, if we split up, the imposter will just pick off another one of us. But if we don't fix the oxygen, then we're all dead. We need to find the imposter before then. How, fam? The imposter looks normal! Wait, that's it! The imposter looks normal, but it doesn't mean they are normal. The demon possessing them must have changed their DNA. If each of us does a body scan in Medbay, the imposter will be exposed. Marla? Huh? You're the last one to scan. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. The lights! Everybody, get close! <laughs> Looks like you found me! What now, fam? How are we gonna take on a demon? The demons earlier, they all got sealed by the ruby. If we can get back to it, then maybe we can use it against her. We just need a distraction. Varun, you thinking what I'm thinking? Hold hands! Run! Ha! Outplayed! Now we just gotta get to shields and... Huh? No! How's that for an outplay? Ah! Anastasia! She's coming back! I can try to fix the ruby! Screw your ruby! I almost fixed the ruby! Distract her! Varun! If you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. The ruby is fixed, but she's too strong. It won't seal her. This is karma, bitch. 